The painting, The Broken Column, is a self-portrait that depicts the artist's accident at 18, which confined her to a hospital bed and later her home. During this period, she received support from her loved ones, except for her partner Alejandro, to whom she wrote heartfelt love letters. What makes this artwork unique is the absence of a spinal column, replaced by a Doric column, symbolizing the classical world, the origin of civilization, or a golden age of clear and tangible forms. In her own words, she mourns how everything has become insipid and flat. Unlike her other self-portraits, her gaze reflects agony and tears. She reveals and conceals her pain, suggesting that it's a universal human experience. The Embrace of the Universe is a symbol-rich painting that can be overwhelming to interpret. To understand her work, we must familiarize ourselves with the meanings and symbols. This painting represents one of Frida's great pains, her inability to bear children due to miscarriages. Splitting the canvas vertically reveals Frida positioned in the dark part, representing darkness, night, and death. The other half portrays a maternal breast from which milk flows. Frida cradles Diego Rivera, whose proportions differ from hers. She grants him the ability to perceive beyond the sensory. On the other side, separate from Frida, lies life, sunlight, and flourishing plants. The background showcases overlapping embraces of women, including the Mother Goddess, an emblematic figure in South American culture. Frida Kahlo's writings include letters and diaries that provide insight into her shattered loves and pain, contrasting with her self-portraits where she appears proud with a resolute and hard gaze. Thus, there are two Fridas. Some art scholars argue that Frida Kahlo splits herself into two personas. André Breton, the father and theorist of surrealism, describes her in two lines after meeting her. Frida Kahlo is pure and dangerous, a bomb with ribbons. This may indeed be true. In the painting, one side depicts a woman in white, symbolizing purity and chastity, while the other side portrays her in vibrant Mexican attire. Both Fridas are real, genuine, and have a beating heart, connected by a thread. One Frida holds a pair of scissors, contemplating severing this connection. Frida Kahlo's artworks consistently exhibit a dualism that struggles to find unity. This same theme is evident in Self-Portrait with Thorn Necklace. The painting juxtaposes life and death. Above, a lush forest and clear sky with butterflies adorning her hair, while below, a tightly bound thorn necklace causes her neck to bleed with a dead bird hanging from it. One shoulder features an animal seemingly playing with the necklace, while the other shows an animal appearing alert or ready to attack. The painting can be divided into four parts or emotional states, with her face at the center. The painting, located at the MoMA in New York City, portrays Frida Kahlo seated in an empty room on a wooden chair, holding scissors in hand, with her cut long hair scattered on the floor and dressed in masculine clothing. 
In contrast to The Two Fridas, this artwork reveals another facet of Frida Kahlo as she discards her white dress and traditional Mexican attire, unveiling a third version of herself, a more masculine Frida Kahlo. This exploration of gender roles is not new for the artist, as evidenced by a family photograph showing a young Frida dressed in masculine attire. Self-portrait with cropped hair emphasizes the societal and artistic disparities between men and women. It's important to note that at the time of creating this painting, Frida had not yet achieved widespread recognition in the art world. Unlike her partner, Diego Rivera, who was already an established artist and helped her gain visibility in cultural and artistic circles of the era.